Hi, I'm Subhash of Tiakraza College of Engineering, Madurai. So let me, I am here to um, give a brief about a short channel effect uh, which causes DIBL. So what is called short channel effect? When the channel length is less than one micrometer, uh, it is characterized by unwanted effects called short channel effect, basically. So this series of phenomena takes place when the channel length of the MOSFET becomes approximately equal to space charge region of the source and drain junction in the substrate. So basically in the video suggests as you can see this picture where um, approximately like um, the space charge region of a source and drain is equal to the uh, drain uh, drain junction as you can see in the uh, picture. So this at that, at that time uh, the short channel effect uh, may occur. So what are the two attributes or, or what are the two parameters that causes um, short channel effect? There are two things that impose uh, when short channel effect occurs. Basically, the first thing is electron depth, and the second thing is the show voltage due to short channel length. So, as you can see uh, in the picture. So, what is DIBL? What causes DIBL? Drain induced barrier lowering. So, drain induced barrier lowering is a short channel effect in MOSFET. This is originally reduced. Ref originally to reduce the threshold voltage of transistor at high drain voltages okay uh, basically uh, in order to reduce the voltage of a high, uh, transistor at high drain voltages so this causes um, DIBL basically the length of the channel increases the threshold voltage uh, transistor decreases originally so operation as the current flows in the channel depends upon creating and sustaining an inversion layer if the create gain voltage is not sufficient to invert the channel so as you can see when the gain voltage is less than threshold voltage the electron in the uh, channel phase electron in the channel phase uh, uh, face a potential barrier that blocks the electron flow um, from the source to drain so this potential barrier is controlled by both k2 source voltage and drain to source voltage as you can see in the picture. If the drain voltage increases, the potential barrier in the channel decreases. This is known as DIBL. As we can see, when the drain voltage increases, the potential barrier in the channel decreases, known as DIPL. The reduction of potential barrier eventually allows electron flow from source to drain. Even the gate to source voltage is less then the threshold voltage yes reduction of a potential barrier eventually allows the electron flow from source to drain even the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage as you see, see in the picture the long L where the uh, drain voltage increases when the short L the drain voltage decreases it doesn't uh, it the potential height the potential barrier decreases right you can see you can see in the picture so DIBL also affects the current versus drain voltage drain bios a curve in active mode causing the additional increase in drain bios lowering the MOSFET output resistant this increase in additional normal uh, channel length modulation effect on the output resistance it cannot always be modeled as a threshold threshold adjust so in practice DIBL can be calculated as follows DIBL can reduce the device operating frequency as well as described by the following equation so del f divided by f is equal to 2 into twice dibl divided by vdd minus vth so vdd minus threshold voltage so this is the basic uh, principle and basics of our own um, uh, uh, ch short channel effect lowering this causes dibl thank you thank you see you later in the next video if you consider subscribing just do it thank you Ta -da.